Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Kay's Place. So, I uh, got a new camera, so if there's a couple lighting problems or sound problems, I'll apologize now. It's actually a new phone. So, we stopped by a couple of thrift stores yesterday, and I picked up a few things. One of our favorite thrift stores is actually going out of business, so everything was 50% off. And um, the other thrift store we stopped by we had never heard of, um, when we were at the other thrift store, oh, sorry about that, it looks like it went out of focus for a second. Um, one of the other thrift stores we stopped by, um, when we were at the other thrift store, one of the ladies told us about it and she told us there was a room in there where everything was always 75% off. I thought, oh, that sounds pretty cool. So we stopped by there as well. So let me start by showing you everything we picked up at our favorite thrift store where everything was 50% off. So I picked up these and these were originally from <clears throat> Target and they were originally marked for 50 cents so they were 25 cents and they're these happy birthday french fry boxes. And I just thought they were really cute. There were 12 pieces and they were 25 cents. I just thought those were really cute. So I thought I could use some of them for what they're intended for to send out happy mail to people who are having a birthday. And I thought I might also try to make a template out of that because I don't have a die that makes a french fry box. So I thought I might try to make a template out of this so that I could have a template for a french fry box. So, I thought those were really cute. Then, I picked up these, quite a few of these items are actually from Target. I picked up these paper straws. There are 20 in here, and these are orange with white polka dots. It actually had a dollar marked on it, but I actually only ended up paying 25 cents for these. I think this shop had everything marked off at 75%. And these are orange with white polka dots. Like I said, I thought these would be really cute for Halloween. So I went ahead and picked those up. And I found these. Everybody's on this confetti craze. I am not making confetti. I will make a mess in my house. But I found these confetti throwers. And they were marked at 75 cents. So, I think I paid somewhere around like 35, 40 cents for them. I think it was 35 cents. And there are six of them, and they're all pastel colors. So, I thought it'd be perfect for this unicorn project I'm working on. Or anything shabby that I'm doing. And they're in plastic straws. So, I thought they'd be perfect to send if I wanted to send some confetti and friend mail as well or anything in friend mail after I'm done using the confetti. But it is perfect. There's um, pinks and blues and a light green. So, I thought those were perfect for 35 cents. And <clears throat> I picked up these Wilton 30 count um, lollipop sticks. Not sure where these originally came from, but they have little hearts on them. Thought they'd be cute for Valentine's Day or just any time I wanted to send something that was red and white. And I'm not sure there's actually 30 in this package. There might be. Um, but they were marked for 50 cents, so I paid 25 cents for those. Let's see if you can see those cute little. It's a camera will focus. Those cute little hearts on those. Aren't those adorable? So, those were 25 cents for 30. I thought those were really cute. Then, I do like to cross stitch from time to time when I find the time. And, I used to be able to do counted cross stitch when my eyes have gotten really bad. And so now I can just do printed cross stitch. But I found this adorable printed cross stitch table runner. It is of a candle and poinsettia print. And this one did not have any of the floss with it, but it does have the instructions. 
and it was two dollars so it cost me a dollar and this is what part of the print looks like And it's a decent sized table runner. Um, I don't know if it tells me on here. I didn't actually look at the instructions. It's got a red outline. I don't know if it tells me on here what the actual size of the table runner is. It looks like whoever did it used the napkins. tell me what the size of the table runner is so I'm not sure I guess I'll have to measure it out and see but it looks like a really pretty pattern shame it doesn't still have the napkins it does have the number for the company so maybe I can go online and see if I can get the napkins to match it so if I don't keep it for myself I know it would be gorgeous um, Christmas present for somebody else. I also found this other table runner. This one was $5 originally, so it was $2.50. It's called Christmas Bloom. It is a point, it's a gorgeous poinsettia. And this one has the floss included. And that's what that one looks like. And it is the table runner, not the tablecloth. It's the table runner. So that one was really pretty and two dollars and fifty cents is a great deal for these so that was really pretty then I found from like I said Target these I think cost me like 18 cents or something probably not, I think they were 13 cents these are the little CeeLo bags and there are how many bags are in here six bags and they're red just plain red so I could use these for Christmas or Valentine's Day and like I said I think they were like 13 cents 12 or 13 cents and they're so pretty and shiny so not a bad deal there and then this another Target brand these were originally 15 50 cents so these cost me 25 cents and I'm always needing file folders to file away things in my house or these make great things to use to make really nice sturdy die cuts out of. And these came in, there's six folders in here, uh, three colors each. There's a blue, a teal, and a red by the uh, Yobi brand. It's a great brand. So I went ahead and picked up just one package of these. I kind of wish now that I'd have picked up a second package, but I didn't. So. And then. I found this so you guys can let me know if you've ever seen anything like this it's called it's 12 feet of PVC metallic ribbon it's by a company called country silk it was a dollar a roll this was not on sale for 50% off so I paid a dollar a roll for this um, I did get two of them I don't think this one may be in the full 12 feet. I'm not positive. It doesn't look like it is. But this is what it looks like. Sounds like this. It's kind of got this iridescent down the center. I just thought it was really cool. Um, just kind of a neat find. Um, this is flame retardant. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm not real sure what I'm going to make out of it yet. I thought I might try to make a flower out of it, a gold flower, like cut it down the center and see if I could get it to wrap around and make a flower because I just thought it would be so pretty. But I don't know, I may use it for trim. I'm not sure yet. If you guys have any ideas or if you've ever seen it before, comment below. So, that was really pretty. I bought two strands of that. And then, um, on a side note, 
Mm -hmm. They had these, um, I wear contacts most of the time. They have these contact cases for uh, 50 cents. And we picked up three of these for a quarter a piece, which these are usually really expensive. They had these on clearance for, it says they were $2.39, and Target had them on clearance for $1.67. And I ended up paying a quarter for three of those. They were a quarter a piece, so that's super cheap. My husband and I both wear contacts, so super cheap. Um, oh, speaking of Target, I did run into Target this week. These were just sitting on my table. And at the dollar spot, I found some of this chunky glitter. This is 0.43 ounces. And I did pick up the purple. And the red. And the orange. You see that pretty orange. And the green. I picked up the purple and the orange, kind of thinking about Halloween, and then the red and the green, thinking along the lines of Christmas. So, then for my next thrift store that we went to, our 75% off room. I've never used this. Thought maybe I might enjoy playing with it. It is gallery glass. Um window paint. It's got one liquid lead and five window colors. It was originally marked at seven dollars. And I just wrote the receipt so I could see how much it was. And we paid, a, I paid a dollar and seventy-five cents for it. It's got a red, a blue, a green, and a snow white. And a clear. So that's what that looks like. And then there's the letting. So I thought for $1.75 I could play around and see what I could come up with. Maybe make a stencil on my Cricut. So then I thought, well, I'm going to need a piece of glass. So they had this wood frame that is an 11 by 14, I think, is what it said. And it was originally $2, and they had it on the 75% off room. So I paid 50 cents for the frame. So, all together to play with this project, it's gonna cost me $2 and 23 cents or something like that. So, not a bad price just to see if I want to play with something. So then they had a little beading booth and I found these adorable little flat back flowers and they're in teal and pink in different sizes. And I don't know how many there are, but there's quite a few in here. And these were a quarter. And that's what they look like. They're all glittery. Then I found these seed beads. And they're pink. And they were $1.98, which I didn't think was bad. They're much more expensive at like Hobby Lobby and Michael's. Let's see if it'll focus. That's what those look like. Then I found this tube of seed beads. These were $1.78. And these are a pink purple mix, kind of. They're so pretty. And that's what those look like. Then I found these, and these were a two millimeter, 1,000 white crystal beads, and these were $3. Those are those real pretty. Then I found 
a white doily or cream colored doily. It is, um, so what I actually intend on doing with this is cutting it apart to make the smaller doilies. It kind of looks like this. So the individual ones look just like this. So the small little doilies. So I'll have quite a few on here for $3. So, I thought that was a pretty decent deal. It's not an antique. It's something that apparently she makes quite often. So, I just thought that was... I'm not sure what you'd use that for exactly. I was trying to figure it out. And I'm like, what in the world would you use that for? So, but I went ahead and picked it up. Because I know what I was going to use it for. So, that is everything I picked up. It, when we went out kind of thrift store shopping yesterday. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And if you, especially if you have any ideas or suggestions about that gold ribbon, I definitely want to hear those. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.